Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So in today's video, I will talk about what Microsoft Defender is, what are the features and how it works. So let's start with what is Microsoft Defender Endpoint. Well, it is a solution which is out there and available for endpoint security. Or in more detailed way, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is a platform which is designed to help enterprise network to prevent, detect, investigate and respond to advanced threats at their endpoints. When any attackers decides to target any organization, they often start up with finding the endpoints and they start targeting the endpoints because this form an easy entry point into an any organization. Attackers make use of sophisticated techniques which ranges from malware, credential theft techniques and much more. And those endpoints could be anything like they can be personal computers, your mobile phone, organization computers, your servers, your network joints, it can be anything. So now the question is, why do we use Microsoft Defender for Endpoint product? Well, traditional endpoint solutions were not mature enough and because of that, many solutions were introduced and you will find a lot in the market. But in case of Defender for Endpoint, we have four levels or you can say we have four point in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The first one is Prevent. Well, as the name suggests, it will give you the information about how you can prevent an attack from happening at the endpoint layers of the organization. And that is the best approach as to prevent the attack then handling it or recovering from it after it gets happened. So it is better to prevent an attack. Second point is detect. On the second level, we have the detect level means in case if an attack does occur, it can detect it means once any threat or anomaly is detected on any of the endpoint machine or endpoint joint, we can go ahead with it and we can investigate it. So as we have talked about the investigation, third point is investigate. Okay, first we try to prevent it, then we detected it and if we detected it, now it's time to investigate it. Once the threat or anomaly is detected, we can investigate it through the console which Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides to its customers. Fourth point, which is the last one, is respond. At last, we can perform the recovery and remediation processes which Microsoft Defender for Endpoint offer, like it provides different solutions, different techniques. So because of these four levels, it is one of the best among all solutions which are available out there. So with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, we can prevent, detect, investigate and respond the threats. If we talk about this product particularly, which is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, obviously, earlier it was named as Windows Defender ATP. Then it got changed to Microsoft Defender ATP and now it is known as Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And ATP stands for Advanced Threat Protection. Okay, let's talk about the components of Microsoft Defender Endpoint. Well, we talk about the security of endpoints of security of anything. There should be something which should reside or be there on those endpoints to monitor everything about what's going on with those devices. It is just like a security guard at the bank, which monitors everything and prevents the bad events from happening. Same goes for endpoints or devices where we need something which can monitor them. So in terms of Microsoft Defender for Endpoints, an agent or you can say a sensor is already embedded. As Windows 10 is the most used product of Microsoft, an agent is already embedded in there. We have to install the agent or its application. Now let's talk about the working or the functionality of the sensor. Well, sensor collects all the relevant information on the endpoint device or machine or whatever which is related and relevant to endpoint security perspective. Like it keeps the track of the file hashes, behavioral analytics, 
and the processes which runs on those endpoints. And it also checks if there is anything malicious or not. It records everything. So now, as we have all the information now, and we know what is being happening and information is also collected, but the question is how we can use that information to enhance the security for the endpoints. Because till now, we only have the information, but we do not have any measures to prevent it. Well, all that information gets sent to a tenant of your enterprise. To be clear here, every Microsoft Defender endpoint instance is a dedicated tenant which belongs to a particular customer. Means if you are using Microsoft Defender for endpoints, you will have a tenant which is specifically dedicated to you. And that tenant as always a dedicated one for every organization means the information shared with a particular tenant cannot be shared with any other tenant. So basically all the information is collected by the sensor and then sent to the tenant. After that, whatever happens, it happens under the system hood. And all of this which I have explained to you with respect to the sensors and tenant is called the endpoint security. Now, that was all about with the perspective of Windows 10 as the agent is there by default. If we talk about the other versions of Windows like 7 or other older version, then we need an agent and same goes for other platforms like iOS, Linux, Macs, and Android. We need to install the agent separately. So that was all about the sensor, what it is, how it works, etc. Now let's move ahead. After sensors, we have the inside part. To understand it in a better way, let's think of a large scale enterprise or an organization. So let's suppose there are a lot of endpoints and because of that we will have a lot of devices and all of them are generating information and sending the data to the tenant in the huge capacity. As we talked about earlier when we were discussing the agents that agents collects all the information from the endpoints. Now we have a lot of endpoints and obviously we will have a lot of information incoming. As tenant is receiving a lot of data, there are great chances that there will be some information which will be redundant, which will not be helpful to define the threat because there are a lot of endpoints and lot of devices and they will be sending data. So there are a lot of chances that there will be redundant information. So in this situation, all the signals which have some relevant information, we only consider them and we will consider them as insights. So what we will do, we will ignore all the redundant and useless information and we will consider only the information which is relevant to the threat. And we will consider that information as an insight. And with the help of those insights, we can generate the alerts about the threats and admins can take measures against those threats. Cause that information which we will be sending to admins will be purified and will have all relevant information about the threats. And all of this take place on the client side and the cloud side of service which help us in translating signals into insights and insights into alerts with the help of lot of other services is typically known as cloud security analysis. So this part in which we have talked about the insights and endpoints and a lot of devices which are generating a lot of information and from those information we only select relevant information and then we convert that information into insight all of this comes under the cloud security analysis so basically we have signals those signals gets transformed into insights and then at last we generate the alerts with the help of those insights at the end we have the threat intelligence part where Microsoft Defender team put and feed a lot of intelligence into your tenant or you can say into your service which you are using. So in simple words, Microsoft Defender team will train your tenant or will give your tenant with the information that how to prevent, how to detect and how to recover from particular threat which you have faced at some particular point. So this was the brief summary of how the Microsoft Defender works. 
If we talk about the actual features which are listed and on behalf of which Microsoft Defender Endpoint can secure the endpoints, there are six in total. So as you can see on your screen, I have official documentation open for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. If you scroll down here, here you can see we have six points. First one is Threat and Vulnerability Management. Well, this built-in capability uses a risk-based approach to discover, prioritize, and to do the remediation of the endpoint vulnerabilities and a misconfiguration. After that, we have attack service reduction. It is the set of capabilities which provides and acts like as the first line of defense by ensuring that all the configurations are well in place and exploit mitigation techniques are applied. It resists the exploitation and attacks. Then comes the next generation protection. As the name suggests, to reinforce the security parameters to the network. Furthermore, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint uses the next generation protection to catch and get all types of emerging threats. At the number four, we have Endpoint Detection and Response. Endpoint Detection and Response capabilities are used to detect, investigate, response to advanced threats that may have passed the first two security checkpoints or you can say the first two security pillars. It uses a query based threat hunting tool by which you can find the breaches in the system and we can create the custom detection for our endpoint or you can say for our endpoint devices. At number five, we have automated investigation and remediation. At this point, we get the automatic investigation and remediation capabilities which help us to reduce the volume of alerts per minute at a scale. Because in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, it offers the conjunction with being able to quickly respond to advanced attack. So you can set the volume of alerts per minute at this point. At last, we have Microsoft Threat Expert. It is a newly managed threat hunting service which provides the proactive hunting, prioritization, and additional context and insights for further empower security operations center. So these are the basic six features which are listed and on behalf of which Microsoft Defender Endpoint can secure the endpoints of your enterprise or your organization. Here, I want to talk about one more thing and that is minimum requirements. I will go there. And these are the minimum requirements to use Microsoft Defender for endpoints. Here is the list of all the requirements and I'll go back now. Here you can click on these links of all these features and you can learn more about each and every one. And here we have all other documentations which are related to Microsoft Defender endpoint. Now let's talk about the other powerful features of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Some benefits of this software is the ability to preview new features and provide the feedback. And these features include the preview release. As you can see here, we have a section which says preview feature. In this, we have web content filtering, device health and compliance report information protection and an option to onboard Windows Server 2019. To launch these features most effectively, Microsoft Defender for Endpoints collects the data from your devices which includes the file data, process data, registry data, network connection data, and device details. This information is used to identify indicator of attack within your organization at the endpoint or the devices at your endpoint. And it alerts you if possible attacks were identified within your organization at the devices of your endpoints. And it also provides a view into existing threats on the network. Now let's talk about the centralized configuration and administration APIs of which Microsoft Defender for Endpoint offers. Well, the Defender for Endpoint supports a wide variety of options to ensure that Customers can easily adopt to the platform because it is not an easy one to understand and to work on. So it makes sure that customer can easily adapt to this platform. Acknowledging that customer environment and structures can vary, Defender for Endpoint was created with flexibility 
and a granular control to fit varying customer requirements. So in simple words, it was designed in such a way that it can vary or it can change itself as per the customers. At last, I will talk about endpoint onboarding and portal access. Device onboarding is fully integrated into Microsoft Endpoint Manager and Microsoft Intune for client devices and Azure Defender for server devices. If we talk about the integration with Microsoft solutions, if I scroll down here, here you can see that we have Azure Defender, Azure Sentinel, Intune, Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft Defender for Identity, and then we have Defender for Office and Skype for Business as well. So that was all about the features and different things related to Microsoft Defender for Endpoints. Now, if I talk about the pricing, Microsoft offers pricing per user and a user can have up to five concurrent devices. Companies can add Defender for endpoints to their Macs, Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 devices, regardless of whether they are corporate or personally owned devices. And Microsoft recommends personally owned devices having both antivirus software and Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint offers a free trial and several different pricing plans which starts from $10 per user per month up to $57 per user per month. So that brings us to the end of this video. In this video, I have briefly explained to you that what is Microsoft Defender is, how it works and what are the main features of it and what are their responsibilities. I hope you have learned something new in this video. If this is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss any future video from us. If you have something to ask or if you want to suggest something, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. So we will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.